Hey YouTube, welcome to my shop. My name is Fred, I'm from Maine. <laughs> Listen, I wanted to share with you um, the project I'm working on. Uh, I'm gonna try and CNC my Grizzly GO704, which obviously a lot of people have done. There's a lot of videos on YouTube already, but I figure I'll do mine too. Uh, I apologize in advance, I'm not one who makes many videos, so bear with me actually this will pretty much be my first one so uh just a quick overview of where i'm at so far i've kind of begun the process but still kind of at the first phase um, so i'm going to swing the camera around now and um, show you what i'm doing okay so here you see my grizzly mill um I've had it for quite a few years. I've had it for, I think, three years now. Um, I've already had to replace the stock motor with a treadmill motor. This is a, I think it's a 1.75 horsepower continuous. Works really well. Um, I haven't done the belt upgrades yet. I plan to um, in the future. It's just kind of on there to make it run. It's not pretty or anything, but um, I haven't had a lot of the, the machines that I've needed to do some of these projects the way I'd like to, but that's actually kind of what we're, what we're after here, is the ability to do things a little more professionally and whatnot. Um, so to get started, um, I'm doing this kind of low budget, but I'll expand upon it as money and time allows. So what I'm actually doing is I'm not doing, I'm not replacing the the lead screws with ball screws yet. I'm using the stock stock lead screws, and I'm just simply getting this thing running on CNC. Um, from there, I will <clears throat> do what needs to be done. Um, replace the replace the lead screws with nice ball screws. Uh, probably go to a belt drive eventually. Um, you know all the all the modifications that. Most everybody does. So I have this computer running Mach 3, which I love this because I've been running. I have another CNC machine over here that I built a few years ago. Let me just take you over here real quick and show you. Uh, this is the first one I ever built. Well, actually, it's the second one. The first one I built was out of MDF. Um, then I basically took that design and kind of modified it a bit and made it my own. Um, so it's, it's actually pretty cool. It's a router. The router is actually out of it right now. Um, <laughs> you can see I'm working on some dust collection ideas uh, because that's the next thing that has to happen. I don't even want to use this thing ever again until I get some dust collection going on. I'm just tired of cleaning up the mess. Um, but it's basically just a two foot by four foot gantry router CNC and it works great. But of course I got the desktop computer with the parallel port to run it. You can see my parallel port's unhooked right now because and that's what I wanted to show you. I've been, I got the uh, UC100 adapter so that you can run your laptops and it works great. I'm very happy with that. I don't think I'm ever going to look back. So that's this here. Um, this guy right here. It's actually got, it's not just an adapter. It's, um, it's not a USB to parallel adapter. I mean, it is, but it's more than that. It has a microprocessor of some sort built into it that does all the, um, takes over a lot of the duties of the com for the computer. So it gets that load off the CPU of the computer. So works great. I recommend it. I'm very happy with it. Not too hard to set up. Um, I tried it actually tried it with the Windows 8 tablet and it I was able to to run it with that. The thing with that is uh, it's well I'm not sure how I'm gonna go. I think it's just gonna be better to use my laptop. <clears throat> so I got my laptop that I've had forever. It's this laptop's 10 years old but works great still so still running XP for now. Uh, the UC100 into a C10 breakout board. This is actually a one I had that I forgot I had. Uh, I ordered this one here. Um, 
This one works too. I, I hooked that up first. Um, then I realized I had the C10 still available. So I hooked that up to see if it still works, and it does. So I'm not sure which board I'll end up using yet. One has more inputs than the other. Um, so, yeah, i got to figure out what I'm doing. Finished product, but... So anyway, computer to C10 board, um, out to... I'm using a... Uh, KL5060 stepper driver to a 570 ounce NEMA 23 and I got a 48 volt KL600-48 power supply um, so as you can see I'm just now this this plate here I made several years ago when I thought I was gonna do this uh, I just haven't been able to do it yet I'm looking at it going, hmm, I'm not sure what I was thinking, like what my ultimate plan was at that point in time. Um, but So that's still on there. That may come off and do something different, or I may incorporate that into what I'm doing. But um, for now, I just have the motor hooked up. Somebody's probably going to mention that the coupler I'm using right there is not... Um, I'm not sure if there's any backlash. It's not a zero backlash coupler, I don't think. I'm not sure. But it's what I had on hand. Um, it's a 3 8 to 3 8 coupler. I actually had to drill the side that goes to the machine out to 10 millimeters. I thought I was going to bore it with a small boring bar, but it was too big to fit in the hole. I mean, fit in the hole, but it was too big to cut a 10 millimeter hole. So I actually drilled it with a mm, mm, 25, I think it's 20, 25 64 is the right size to get it for 10 millimeters. So I did that. And so yeah, it's all just kind of um, just hooked up just to see if it works, but lo and behold it does. I'd love to like press the buttons and show you, but I have to hold the motor <laughs> with one hand to keep the motor from spinning and the camera with another and press the buttons with another. And I don't have three hands, but maybe I can set the camera down someplace where you'll see, be able to see. Uh, let's see. Yeah. All right. I think that'll work. Let me try it. So here we go. Oh, I got it in jog right now. I was seeing what my backlash is. Alright. Still in jog. I gotta take it out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so I can go back and forth a dozen times, but I think you get the idea. So I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, obviously I'm aware that there's, there's backlash in those stock lead screws. Um, but I think I can compensate for them with backlash compensation in Mach 3. That's why I was kind of measuring to see. I didn't get my dial indicator out, but I will once everything's uh, tightened up here. I think for the time being I can use the stock lead screws with some backlash compensation until I have the money and time to... Sorry, I keep looking at the screen. I know the, <laughs> the camera is actually just a little dot over here on the side. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I don't want to drag this out any longer than it needs to be. Um, so, so far, I got... Oh, I didn't show you. Looking in here, I got the other... the rest of the parts I need. Um, another 50... 56 driver for the 570. That'll be the the y-axis and then I got a NEMA 34. I love it. Never had a 34 before. This thing is beefy. This is a 906 ounce I believe and a big driver for that. So um, looking forward to mounting that. Again, same idea. I don't know if you can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, you can. Okay, so I actually have this, I took the jam nut, there's two jam nuts on top of here. I took one off 
threaded this coupler and screwed it down on as a jam nut, as the second jam nut that I, to replace the jam that I took off. And, you know, I'll just mount my motor right there. And it's kind of down in, downtown and dirty here, but it, it'll work to get me started. Um, get some, get some parts made and um, as time allows, we'll, we'll uh, do some other modifications. One of the, a couple other things I wanted to mention um, that I forgot to was for anybody who's interested as far as um, the velocities of, with the stock lead screws, what I showed in the video was at 80 inches per minute. Um, and that worked fine. Um, I've actually jacked it up to 100 inches per minute and that also works fine. So I've got the acceleration at 10 inches a minute. And I haven't <clears throat> figured exactly how many steps per inch, but I'm within you know a fraction right now at 8,000 steps uh, that's with one quarter micro stepping um, so I'll have to figure out I'll use the uh, calibration or something when I'm all said and done but I'm, I'm in the neighborhood right now at 8,000 steps uh, one quarter micro stepping also I wanted to show you on my homemade CNC I built CNC router um, I also it's not just a router I've <laughs> made it I have this this tray here that I use. It goes right on, sits right on top. Let me, let me push that in. Oh, never mind. I use that tray. I set that right up on top. It covers the whole thing, and uh, I do plasma cutting as well with this same machine. So it works out pretty cool. Um, I've even upgraded to. And before I used to just kind of. Stick the plasma cutter in there. Well, let me get that stupid thing out of there. I don't really know why that's in there. Well, I do, but... So I used to just stick the plasma cutter right in there. Um, the clamp. But, now I've made this floating head. Yeah, I, for those of you who don't know, the reason for the floating head is that every time the plasma cutter goes to make another cut, itself it comes down onto the work until this floating head goes up. It touches the work until it goes up and triggers that switch. And that resets the zero every time it goes to make a cut. So that's very helpful because often when you're cutting with plasma, the heat will warp the metal or it just may be warped to start with before you even start cutting. So that really helps a lot with keeping you at the right height. Also, I wanted to just show, I mean, this is the sort of thing, it's not a big deal. It's just a DXF file I got offline or something, but that is um, cut with this plasma cutter. Um, also, these pieces here that hold the router, I actually made with this CNC. So, I actually can cut um, aluminum with this this machine and well this router <laughs> it just has a bad bearing I gotta put a new bearing in it and put it back together tomorrow anyway all right I think that was all